In previous videos, we have discussed the nature of Neo. Who is he? And why was he able to break the Matrix cycle? In the past few days, many new people have arrived to this channel thanks to the premiere of the Matrix Resurrections trailer. And they often ask the same question. Why isn't Neo the one? What makes him different from others? What is the anomaly that the architect spoke of? All these questions could be connected to a line that the new Morpheus said to Neo in the dojo. What does Morpheus mean? That the only thing that Neo cares about is here. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. The only thing that matters to you is still here. I know it's why you're still fighting and why you will never give up. This line of dialogue is the reason why Neo is different from his predecessors. Remember this, as it will become important later. Neo's life was controlled since birth, being watched by the architect at all times. The mini TVs in the architect's room show Neo from his childhood. All these clips are accessible in a behind the scenes feature in the Matrix DVD set. Neo lived alone during his childhood and adolescence. And when he was with other children, he was being bullied. This shaped him into an introvert, leading him to live with computers and looking for a meaning to his existence. However, this search for meaning, this cause and effect, was controlled by the architect. Your life is the sum of a remainder of an unbalanced equation inherent to the programming of the Matrix. You are the eventuality of an anomaly which, despite my sincerest efforts, I have been unable to eliminate from what is otherwise a harmony of mathematical precision. Neo unknowingly was walking down the same path that five others did. Although he did not believe in fate, Neo's life has been determined by someone else, even before he was born. When the architect created the first versions of the Matrix, they didn't work. The Oracle discovered that the problem was a lack of choice, so she added the option to the simulation to let people make choices within the Matrix. Humans no longer felt trapped in a pre-planned system. But even though 99% of the humans accepted the programming, 1% rejected it, generating fluctuations in the matrix and creating anomalies. These anomalies were trapped in another controlled location, Zion. The red pills are anomalies. They are those humans who did not accept the programming. Yet still, the matrix had to control them, thus creating a real world system of control. The existence of that 1% also causes instability in the matrix that results in the manifestation of the integral anomaly. This is the result of all the errors in the simulation. The integral anomaly is Neo. It is not known whether Neo spontaneously appears as a result of these abnormalities or if he is just a catalyst for them. We think that the architect deposits all these errors into one human, who then becomes the one carrying all of humanity's errors. Similar to the story of Jesus Christ, who carried all of man's sins. This human who is burdened with these errors will be allowed to reboot the Matrix. Neo must do this because he carries the accumulation of errors. And when the Matrix is restarted, it is updated to repair those errors. In other words, the integral anomaly is no longer a threat to the Matrix. It turns into a debugger, so the next version of the Matrix will be better. Neo will also be responsible for creating a new Zion and choosing a few humans to populate it. The one becomes an integral part of the Matrix cycle to perfect it. This was true with Neo's five predecessors. But Neo was different. Although there are biological and possibly programming factors that make him different, the biggest change Neo made from his predecessors is that he chose to save Trinity and not humanity. The previous ones preferred to save humanity, few as they may have been and made sure to create the new Zion. Neo was the selfish savior who rejected the salvation of humanity and saves the only person that truly mattered to him. So much so that when he chooses the door to the matrix, he flies off at full speed, destroying everything in his path from buildings to highways, dragging everything behind him, including innocent humans, possibly killing dozens of people just so he could save Trinity. Now let's get back to the matrix Four trailer to what the new Morpheus told Neo. The only thing that matters to you is still here. I know it's why you're still fighting and why you will never give up. The only thing that Neo cares about is in the simulation, Trinity. This line could be a confirmation that indeed this is the real Trinity who is trapped in the Matrix. 
but the most important thing that this line reveals is that possibly Neo's love for Trinity is the reason why he is having nightmares. The reason Neo is struggling to wake up is that he feels Trinity. We now understand that Matrix Resurrections continues to be a love story, a romantic tale that began with the Oracle prophesizing to Trinity that she would fall in love with the One. and then hinting to Neo that Trinity liked him. You're cuter than I thought. I can see why she likes you. The Oracle may have used cookies to create this love between Neo and Trinity, resulting in the breaking of the Matrix, changing something within them, just as the Merovingian changed something in the woman in the restaurant that ate his dessert. Neo and Trinity's love may have been fabricated, but as Ramakantra explained, You do not understand. I just have never heard a program speak of love. It is a human emotion. No, it is a word. What matters is the connection the word implies. Now to recap, Neo is a human who is carrying all of humanity's errors. He has to take them to the Prime program and then restart the simulation. Neo was never the one. He was the sixth. But he was the first comprehensible anomaly that broke the cycle because of his love for a woman. It is the same reason why Matrix Resurrection seems to once again revolve around these two characters. Neo was resurrected after Trinity kissed him. Trinity was brought back to life when Neo touched her heart, her residual self-image heart, but still the same. All this shows that both characters are connected and that they are the best weapon against the Architect, a weapon based on an irrational emotion that machines cannot understand, and the Oracle uses it to her advantage. But do you agree? If Neo loses Trinity, what would he become? Would he become something similar to Smith if he loses his connection with love, with Trinity? The day-to-day -day routine can feel like an endless cycle. Waking up can feel almost impossible, but not for us at Simulate. We have the best variety of coffee and hot beverages to help you wake up to a new life. Stop by our establishment where you also find a great selection of literature to go with your coffee. And who knows, you might even come across a familiar face. Have we met? Simulate, the best cafe in Mega City, because there is only one way, and that is Simulate. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.